Hey there, David Green, also known as the Renegade. Let's check out the Stanley 8 amp battery charger. Let's check this bad boy out and see what it's all about. Okay, so let's open this up and check it out. Find out what it's all about. Right here. Dump it out. See what all is inside there. Here's uh, instruction manuals. Looks like it's written in Spanish and English. So if you speak uh, Espanol, you can be able to understand and read the instruction book as well as English. Right here, warranty card. You can fill it out on the bottom. You could go online and do it if you want. But make sure that you get your product registered. I believe this is going to be warranty for one year. Let's see what it says. Okay, the warranty is one year warranty, one year limited warranty. So make sure you fill out the card and send that in. Get that out of the way. Okay, so. What do we have now? Looks like we've got different ways to hook up your battery. Right here we've got the clamps. We've got clamps right here. Positive and negative clamps. They're going to go into the bottom of this. Or they'll go into this cord. Plug it in. Then you can hook it up to your battery. I might, do I have a battery here? Yes, sir, I've got a battery right here. Let's bring out this a motorcycle battery because if you couldn't figure it out, I'm a gearhead and a motorcycle nut. So red is always the positive. You hook that up. And then, of course, black always to negative. So right here, very simple, quick, easy. If you wanted to, with motorcycle batteries, they we've also got the O-rings right here so we can hook up the O-ring to it. You're going to want to just spread this out as much as you need to and you can hook these directly to your battery if you want and always have this hanging out underneath the seat so when you need to charge all you've got to do is just plug in the cord right to it. So you get all this out of the way. This is plugged into the power supply. You come in, you plug this in, this is hanging out of the battery. Sweet, easy, simple to do. What else we got? Right here, we can plug into the power supply of an automobile. So if your car's got the power supply, where the cigarette lighter is, which no longer is cigarette lighters, it's always a power supply for USB and everything else, you can plug that bad boy in right there and you can also juice up your battery that way as well. So it's a zero to eight amp charger. It is in a sealed housing to protect from oil, moisture, dust, Anything else can't get into this sealed housing. Got rubber coating around it through here. It grips very easy. So it's not gonna get moisture or anything inside it. We've got a vent back here. This is a vent, so when it's on and running, it can vent itself out here so it won't overheat. It's a reverse polarity indicator. There is a reverse polarity indicator in it right up here in the front. You see all these lights? It's got all this stuff on the front right in through here that'll light up. We'll plug it in in a second and see what that does. It's three ways to charge. DC cord, O-rings, and clamps. UL listed for safety. What does it say for safety back here? Input, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Output, 12 volt, 2 amp, 8 amp. Remember, it goes from zero to eight amps. Let's plug this in and see uh, if these lights all light up or what happens here. And we'll hook it up to the battery. Let's actually hook this up and see what it's going to do. Let me get this off. Plug right behind me. Now, there we go. So can you see it? This little green light right here just came on when I plugged it in right there. So now, if we hook up to this battery, Let's use the clamps and let's plug this together. Now we're hooked up and let's get the red to the positive. 
and let's get the black to the negative and let's select our mode 2 amp or 8 amp so it is charging at 8 amp right now what happens if I keep hitting it there it's just the power indicator 2 amp ah 2 amp is your maintainer so right here this says 2 amp right here that is actually going to be the maintainer if you're just going to use it as a maintenance thing put it on there like in the winter time you're not really riding your bike or you want to keep that battery juiced up if it's on a tractor put it on the maintainer which is 2 amp you want to charge it you're going to hit that again now we're in the charging mode and you see these lights right here just pop right on through here when it's fully charged this green one's going to come on right in through here when it's fully charged up and if you got it hooked up wrong this is a reverse connection it's going to let you know so let me hook this up wrong just for the heck of it and see what happens maybe we'll blow up I don't know there the red light just came on that tells me that I am hooked up wrong so undo that hook them back up the right way like they're supposed to be and we're charging back up so I've got this on the charge setting and it's going pretty good again all sealed nothing can get inside this it looks pretty sweet looks pretty simple pretty easy to use the 8 amp battery charger and maintainer right here pretty sweet pretty easy all right anything else no let's go we're out of here turn it off disconnect disconnect Pull the power and let's go.